Hello everyone. I have a few things for you today. Um, one of them, this is, this is, you should know this already, but I think um, a lot of you that are new and may, well, you may not know this, but you need to know your sizes. Um, shirt size, pant size, inseam, uh, neck, sleeves, waist, bust, all that. You really should even hat sizes and shoe sizes because sometimes you get on a project and it may be a period piece or they may have the wardrobe already for you. Whatever. It may be modern day, but they need to know sizes. And so when you just send something back that says, oh, I wear a large shirt and uh, medium pants, and that's it. But they have to know much more than that. You know, your waist size, your hip size, your inseam. Um, so that's for men and women. So you really should be fitted at some point in your life or have somebody do it for you so that you know your sizes and you can mark them down. And of course, you may have to do that frequently if you're like me and you, you know, you're up and down all the time. <laughs> you know, um, that happens. Um, also, if you've been um, booked on something, um, you may be booked and you know that you have the dates. Um, um, be patient because once you're booked by the casting director, then that goes into the producer's hands and they'll send out information on call schedules and contracts and paperwork that you need to fill out. And it may be three weeks down the road before you get that, but you already know your dates from casting. So, you know, go accordingly to that if you, you know, have to hold those dates. Do that and then the producers will get in touch with you with everything else. I have some people that email me continuously going, I haven't got anything, I haven't got anything, I haven't... But you won't get anything back from me. You will. It is now in the production's hands. So just to let you know that, um, just be patient. A uh, producer will follow up with you. Also, um, you know, this is Texas. And you can't be such a diva that when you're offered something um, and it's not something that you expected or that you thought, even though it was mentioned, um, and you're so up here that you're like, well, I, I don't want to take that. I can't, I can't work on that. I, I deserve this amount or I deserve to do this or, you know, I only want to work on this stuff, this type of, sorry, this is Texas. So you take it as it comes, you know, um, it's very far and few between that we have, you know, huge budgeted films that come here from other places and TV series. We have our own here, which are great. And that gives you an opportunity to work and shine and be your best, regardless of how small the project is. It doesn't matter. Um, but when I see people with the attitudes like that, okay, well, hold out for that big project. You go right ahead. Um, that's great because, you know, we, we have people and we'll be just fine. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, have a good attitude. Be gracious and be kind, you know. Um, people will remember that. So, that's what I have today. We'll talk soon. Bye.